What's up guys, I'm Kenzie Ray, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a post. So today I'll be showing you how I achieve these very cute passion twists. They are so trendy right now. So I decided to try some on myself and also to bring you guys a tutorial so you can save you some coins and do them too, sis. So in this video, I'm focusing more on the twist. If you want to see how I got my parts, that video will be uploaded later this week. So I'll be using seven packs of this Creatures Water Wave hair in 22 inches. And the color I'll be using is one. And I found this in my local beauty supply store for $5.99 and you can probably also find this on Amazon, but I just decided to go to my beauty supply store. I will also be using this crochet needle from the beauty supply store, and it was only about a dollar. And this is what the hair looks like fresh out of the pack. So I'm going to just take my thumb and kind of slide it through the middle of the layers of hair. And this is just to kind of spread the hair out a little bit because it's looking a little crisp right now. And by fluffing the hair out, it's just going to have the twist looking a little more natural because it's kind of the look we're going for, kind of a bohemian vibe, um, very natural looking twist. Alright, and I'm actually using two pieces of hair for each twist and once I have both of them nice and fluffed out, I'm going to take them and line them up to where I have two short pieces on each side. So you want to have two short pieces and this is just going to help layer the end. So now I'll be using my crochet needle and I will just be sticking this underneath the rubber band through my hair like so. And now I'll be taking my two pieces of hair that I fluffed out and I'm going to twist it and that just helps get it on the hook a little better. So I'm just taking that little twisted piece and I'm latching it onto the hook, closing up my clamp and just pulling it through underneath the rubber band and after we slide it underneath the rubber band. I'm just going to take that little loop of hair that we just unlatched from the hook and I'm going to take one side of the hair and I'm going to put it through the loop and then I'm just going to pull each side and just make a little knot and pull it nice and tight but not too tight. After I make sure everything is nice and tight, I'm just going to be taking this Muri's Edge Wax and I forgot to insert a clip, but it's Muri's Edge Wax and I'm just applying it to my hair and this is just to help my hair blend in with the twist. Now I'm going to be splitting my hair in two and taking one side and putting it with each section of the hair. So I'm going to split my hair in two and I'm taking it and putting it with the two parts of hair that we split off and now I'm just going to begin twisting. And when twisting, you want to make sure you do it nice and tight and stay consistent. And this is going to help you get a nice, consistent, cute twist <laughs> from the top to the bottom. So now I just have it in fast motion of me just twisting it all the way down to the end. And this is what it's looking like after I'm done twisting. You literally don't even have to dip the hair or anything. This is curly hair, it kind of just, you know, like natural hair, like a twist out. It literally just curls up on its own when it gets towards the end. So now I'm just repeating the same steps. Um, this style is literally so easy. It took me about, I would say, it took me a while because I kept stopping. But honestly, you can probably do this style in about four hours. And also, like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be dropping how I did my rubber bands and my parting. That video will be out later this week. So if you include the rubber bands, um, that adds maybe an extra hour. So all together, it takes about five hours to achieve this style. All right, guys, so that is it for this tutorial. This style came out so cute. I absolutely love fashion twists now. Like, I think this is going to be my go-to style. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also share this with a friend if you feel like they will look cute with some passion twists, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about anything mentioned in the video or anything not mentioned in the video, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I will be happy to answer them for you. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.